You can now vibe code interactive lead magnets like this AI readiness calculator, which walks you through a 15 question quiz and then generates a personalized ROI report in terms of how to adopt AI and the best places to use it within your business. This was entirely vibe coded in just a few minutes using Lovable Cloud, and I'm going to walk you through it today. But first, here's a demo of how the lead magnet works. So you see this AI readiness calculator, you can publish it to a custom URL and share that with potential leads. And it's going to ask your leads a bunch of questions. So what industry does your business operate in? Say technology, how many employees, one to 10, how familiar is your team? Let's say four. Do you currently use AI tools? Let's say ChatGPT. How would you rate the quality and organization of your data? For most organizations, it's probably low. How many hours per week does your team spend on repetitive tasks? Probably 30 hours per week across folks. Do you handle customer inquiries manually? Yes, for the most part, email and text messages. How much time do you spend on data analysis and reporting? Probably not much time per week. Does your team create content? Content. Yes, a little bit, not enough. And how ready is your infrastructure for automation? Not really sure for this one. And what's your monthly budget for AI implementation? I would be willing to invest if I knew there was ROI. Is your team willing to learn new AI tools? Maybe three or four. How important is AI adoption? No, it's important. We just don't know what to do. And what's your biggest operational challenge? Let's say scalabilities. When do you want to implement AI solutions? Obviously, everyone wants to implement it immediately and get high ROI as fast as possible. And then the last step is email capture. So you put your email address here and then click get my results. And now this interactive lead magnet produces a personalized AI readiness report. Here's time savings, here's estimated annual savings yearly, and then recommended next steps. And of course, here's the CTA ready to transform your business, schedule a free consultation, etc. And what's really neat is Lovable has control of the back end. So it actually captured email addresses for us. If you click this cloud icon over here and then click database, you're going to see the database that uh, Lovable created. And you're going to see my email there twice because I ran through this readiness report twice. But this is really neat because you don't have to go and set up some separate tool just to capture email addresses from these vibe coded lead magnets. And of course, you can publish this to a unique URL and start marketing this on social media. I'm going to walk through exactly how to build an interactive lead magnet like this. But the key thing to keep in mind is this is a starting point for you to take your domain expertise and knowledge and embed it and code it into your lead magnet so that the final product that your lead receives is really, really compelling. So what we need to do before we start building is connect our database to Lovable. And Lovable is going to manage everything, set everything up, but we just need to make that initial connection. So in your name in the top right corner, go ahead and click settings. Okay. And by the way, this is where you can see your credits used so far. Okay. Click settings, click integration, super base. And this is where you're going to connect your super base database and Lovable will manage everything for you. So click manage connected organizations. I already have a super base account connected, but you're going to click add more organizations. Okay. And it's going to ask you for permission for all of these things, select an organization to grant API access to, and then click authorize lovable. And if you're not familiar with Superbase, obviously you'll want to sign up for it first. So go to superbase.com. Okay. Start an account, sign up for the account, and then go back to lovable and authorize it. Just make sure you're logged into your Superbase account, and then you should see it here in the authorization window pop up. Just double check that the organization is correct. Now that we have Superbase connected with Lovable, here's our prompt. Use Lovable Cloud to create an interactive lead magnet quiz with a calculator. It's going to be an AI strategy audit. So identify performance gaps, automation opportunities, and next steps to improve ROI. Ask 15 questions, then generate a personalized report and capture email in the last step. So our previous variation was an AI readiness an ROI calculator. This one is going to be an AI strategy audit, so slightly different. And it's important you use the term lovable cloud here. This signals to lovable that you want it to set up and manage your database and backend. So make sure you use this term. Okay, once you're ready with that, go ahead and click enter. And now lovable will analyze your prompt, start thinking through a plan, share the plan with you, and then ask you for permission to manage everything in the backend. Whether you're new to vibe coding or pretty seasoned, 
in it. I highly recommend reading what the AI agent is thinking over here on the left side panel. So now it's saying I'll create a professional AI strategy audit quiz that captures leads and generates personalized reports. Here's the design inspiration. Here's the set of features that it's going to implement for this initial version and then the design system. And now it's asking you for permission to complete the back end and AI models out of the box. This is a really neat brand new feature in Lovable that basically means the AI is going to take care of everything related to the back end. So your database, storage, authentication, you can even add LLM calls to your app like calling ChatGPT to do additional research or analysis or generate an answer. And most importantly, it's free to start and you just pay as you scale you and spin up a lot of these lead magnets, but you're not paying a lot unless you have a bunch of leads actually coming in through those lead magnets. It's going to ask you this every time. If you want it to always allow, then just click this and then click always allow. Here, I'm just gonna click it once, allow. This is going to give Lovable permission to go ahead and set everything up. And again, you can see Lovable's thought process on the left-hand side. Here, it created database structure for storing quiz submissions and results. So here's the database table schema, storing things like your AI adoption stage, data quality score, automation score, strategy score, technology score, talent score, and overall score enable row level security. This is really important from a security perspective. These are also related to security. Now Lovable is working on the styling, the professional design system. This first prompt can take five minutes or so to complete. So don't worry if it seems like it's taking a long time. I would not put in another prompt until you can play with the first version and see what you like, see what you don't like. And one neat trick to save tokens is to iterate and brainstorm with ChatGPT or a different LLM while Lovable is running. That way you don't burn all of your credits in Lovable for tasks that you could have done with ChatGPT or Claude. So an example here might be using ChatGPT to brainstorm what those 15 questions should be. Lovable is also going to try and brainstorm the 15 questions, but you can iterate multiple times with ChatGPT or Claude while Lovable is building out the rest of the the app. And here's our prompts. You are a top 0.1% AI consultant who performs AI strategy audits. You need to ask each client a set of 15 questions so that you can generate an accurate personalized assessment. So your task chat GPT is to brainstorm the most impactful 15 questions you should ask every client. But before we do that, ask me clarifying questions about this task until you're 95% confident you can complete the task successfully. So this prompt is a simple example example of using my two favorite techniques, ask me clarifying questions so that I provide more context on the task and also telling AI that it is a top 0.1% person in a specific role. Okay, so now ChatGPT is going to ask me a bunch of questions and I'll just answer very briefly. So let's say we're selling this AI strategy audit to small businesses. What problem do they believe they have when they come to you? Um, I think all of the above that ChatGPT mentioned. What outcome do you promise from the audit? What do they walk away with that makes them feel this was worth paying for? You don't have to answer all of these questions with like the utmost clarity. Let's just say for this example, I'm not sure. Do you deliver hands-on build after the audit? implementation. Yes, I offer implementation. Who usually answers your questions? Let's say it's the founder CEO. Which department matters most to you in terms of ROI right now? Lead gen marketing, focus on cost savings or revenue growth. I'm going to say both, even though ChatGPT is telling me most buyers secretly care more about one. What's your tolerance for being blunt? Let's say I want softer phrasing. Okay including AI risk and governance. A few questions. Do you want to size ROI in hours saved or dollars? Well, you ask these 15 questions. Uh, this will be a lead magnet. Do you want these 15 questions to work across any industry? Yes. Are you positioning AI's replace manual work with automation or augment your team? Let's say augment. What time horizon are you selling? 90 days. And how mature are your buyers on AI? Uh, def zero. They're copy pasting into ChatGPT and that's typical. And then a couple more clarifying questions. How do you want it to sound? Quiz or consulting professional? Multiple choice, open-ended or a mix? Let's say mix. Let's say less than five minutes. 
ES, overall business operations, not diving deep into specific systems. And it asked me another clarifying question. Do you want the 15 questions to lean more towards quantifying ROI and automation opportunities or be strategic readiness? Mm, I think for this, let's say A, since it's a lead magnet and perhaps dollar figures will result in more leads. And here are the 15 questions produced by ChatGPT for our AI strategy audit. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these 15 questions. Let's head over to Lovable. So now our initial version of this lead magnet is completed. You can see it on the right hand side. So when you click start your free audit, now it's gonna ask you those 15 questions. So I'm gonna click back real quick and now let's swap out the questions. Say replace your 15 questions with the following and update the scoring logic. And again, what we're doing here is conserving our lovable credits by using ChatGPT or you can use Claude or DeepSeek to iterate on key parts of your app, but outside of lovable. You're iterating on what the question should be. You can iterate on what the scoring logic should be. You can iterate on the CTAs and the phrasing. You can do all of that with ChatGPT or Claude. And then when you're ready and happy with the results, bring it into lovable to implement. That way you're saving your lovable credits for the actual hard coding pieces and not on this marketing brainstorming tasks that can be done outside of Lovable. Okay, now Lovable is done, updated the quiz with new business focused questions, added text input and multi-select support and reorganized scoring. So let's go ahead and click start your free audit. So now we can see the questions that ChatGPT had brainstormed, right? So number one was what does your business do in one sentence? Let's just sim simulate that we're a small business that provides dog training services. Okay, how many people work at your company? Four to 10, top business goal, generate more leads. How many hours do you spend on manual or repetitive tasks? Probably 21 to 40 across the team. How often do you or your teams use AI tools like ChatGPT or automation? I'd say occasionally we use ChatGPT. Which channels drive most of your customers? Uh, paid ads, SEO, content marketing, as well as referrals. And where do you lose the most time or money in your lead generation process? Just overwhelmed, keeping track of anything, hard to stay consistent, posting on social media, um, ads are expensive, etc., etc. Where do you currently track customer or lead data? Let's say we use a spreadsheet and which of these areas still require manual work we can select multiple uh, pretty much all of them <laughs> require manual work we don't even do reporting and analytics how many different tools or platforms do you use daily I feel like I'm hopping in and out of tools all day long do your tools and systems connect automatically or require manual updates I feel like it's partially connected but I'm not sure how much do repetitive or manual tasks cost your business this one is hard to compute um, in real time I'm just, just saying not sure which of the following would make the biggest impact for you? Um, I think automating leads and follow-up so that we can close more business. And if you had a clear plan, how ready would you be to implement AI or automation in the next 90 days? Let's say four out of five, if I knew exactly what to do step by step. How confident are you that your business is using time and money efficiently today? I think we could definitely improve quite a bit. Okay, cool. And this is to get our personalized report. Sabrina Fluff 3, let's just say SMB, okay. Here's our AI strategy audit. Our score is 49 out of 100 with a category breakdown for automation opportunities, infrastructure, implementation readiness, and ROI potential. And here are the recommended next steps right here. And you can even download this report, which is cool. You can save it as a PDF. I really like that it has recommended next steps. Like here's how to improve automation opportunities. First, identify and document your most repetitive task, which is absolutely the number one most important step is just starting with understanding the SOP of the repetitive tasks that you're actually doing and then starting with one high impact automation like a lead follow-up then exploring tools for no code automation and here's where to check all the emails that have come in click this cloud icon like I showed you earlier click database here's the database table Okay, and in this database table, you're going to see all of the emails that have come in. So these are all the leads that have responded to your questionnaire. And now if you wanna publish this so that you can actually share it with leads and market it on social media, just click publish in the top right corner. And you can definitely connect a custom domain if you don't like this website address, right? So click connect domain here. But for the purpose of this demo, we're just going to use the subdomain set up by Lovable. Here's where you can change the icon and title, change the website description, an image, 
image. One of the neat new features in Lovable is this security scan. So go ahead and click this security scan. And here's the detected issue. Customer email addresses and business data ex exposed to public. This explains why this is an important security issue. And here, if this is grayed out, that just means you need to update your scan first, and then you're gonna be able to click try to fix all. So I definitely recommend this before publishing your Lovable app. It's going to scan your code base for potential security issues and then attempt to remediate those security issues. When it's done updating the scan, you're going to see the detected issues and then just click try to fix all, okay? Now Lovable is going to try to fix these security issues automatically. Okay, and when it's done, you'll see the summary on the left-hand side. It fixed both error level security issues, removed public read access to customer data, and added input validation. What you can do here is do one more security scan just to have Lovable check everything else, make sure there's no other issues before you hit deploy. And now you can see there's no more real security issues, just a couple of warnings of verbose error messages and unbounded text input. These are okay to proceed with. Okay, so you can close this security and then go ahead and click publish again again and here you can see it's only two warnings now, not critical risks or errors. So go ahead and click publish. And this is the website address where leads will be able to access your lead magnets and fill it out. Okay. You just ship, copy that. Okay. And now we can see it here. AI strategy audit, identify performance gaps, automation opportunities, and next steps to improve your AI ROI. Takes only five minutes, get instant results. So this is perfect. And here's the URL you can use in your marketing materials to drive people to this lead magnet. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can always deploy it on a custom domain. Just click custom domain here, connect domain if you already have one or purchase a new domain. And that's super easy to do as well. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment below and look forward to seeing what you create.